But uh, this is JL, the anti-guru. And it is Monday, Monday. And we are live. And we're going to be talking about AI and the new developments in uh, on uh, YouTube and Google, for that matter. But uh, give me just a minute here. There we go. Now we're cooking with that. So let me go ahead on and, and get the right screen that I want. Okay, we've got that going. And uh, But uh, today I want to share with you... Um, the AI YouTube ad strategy that I have come across. I've been, you know, I'm, I'm a YouTube video ad consultant and uh, I help people get get uh, clients and customers through the power of YouTube. And, uh, you know, ultimately the success uh, on YouTube comes down to four main things. And uh, let me switch. Switch around here and get the right camera. There we go. So like I said, um, there's four main things. Those things are reaching the right person, ensuring that they have the ability to invest in whatever your opportunity, your product, your service, uh, and strategically training YouTube's AI and then crafting the right YouTube ad script plus presenting the right offer. Those things will ultimately guarantee the most success uh, on, on YouTube. So how are you gonna do these things? Well, the first thing you have to do is you have to create what we call, excuse me, what we call a value add. And some of you may not know what that is, but you know, in the past, you know, you've seen uh, a lot of these YouTube videos, you know, uh, says like, well, do you have X, Y, Z problem? Well, then go sign up for my webinar. And most people are like, no, thanks. You know, and, and why was that? Because there was there was no value. There was nothing uh, there to even entice you to take even another step. So, you know, if you have a webinar or a video sales letter or a training that you're trying to get people to opt into, you got to provide some kind of value in your ad, you know, why should your ideal uh, clients expect you to provide value and then, or when they become a client, you know? So there's a simple framework that you can use. And we're gonna go over that framework. This is probably gonna be a two-part series uh, because there's a lot of information that I wanna share with you. And, uh, but we're first gonna go into the three keys to creating a YouTube value ad. And those are hook, educate, and call to action. So now let's break these down step by step. The hook, uh, you want to capture your ideal uh, client's attention at the beginning of your ad. You probably already knew this, but you know uh, what you may not know is, is that you also want to deter people who aren't your ideal client, client away from your video because that's where you get to train YouTube's AI to target more and more of your idea clients and save you money on your ad spend because you don't want people who are not interested in what you have to offer to even view your video. So there are a few, look at, look at my video here. There we go. Now, we have all kinds of problems today, guys. I don't know what it is. Uh, the atmosphere is just not working, but we'll keep moving forward. But there are three uh, excuse me, there are a few main hooks, main types of hooks that you can use in your video. So I'm going to go over those. Uh, the first one you probably already know, pattern interrupts. Uh, that could be a polarizing hook. Uh, back in the day before we had video and all these different things, you know, you'd be in the grocery store and you had the National Enquirer and they used to have these crazy headlines like, you know, uh, president has baby with alien, you know, and it gets you to stop and and take a look so it interrupts your pattern uh question hooks anything that starts with what if uh problem and solution hooks you know pointing out a problem and then offering a solution uh we have funny and clever hooks you know you can add some type of humor uh maybe put on a mask or something like that you know to kind of entertain people because there's two reasons why people come to youtube one is to get educated the other is to be entertained 
So uh, the story is another hook, you know, like if you had a case study, you know, showcasing your results or a case study or some type of story. And then, of course, the last one, education and value, leading with value from the start of the of your ad. Those are the best. Those are some of the best uh, and main types of hooks that you want to use. So uh, a few examples of of a great hook. Uh, YouTube ads beat Facebook ads every time. You know, let's face it, ad costs are going through the roof. And even if you have a great ad, it's almost impossible to scale. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use YouTube ads to scale your business to seven or eight figures. That's just an example. Yeah. So next, let's go to educate. Now, this is the key to your value add and the section most people leave out or they get it wrong. So in order for your ads to convert, uh, the best the, convert the best you need to know why people are on YouTube to begin with and we already discussed that slightly you know there's two reasons Every, everyone is on YouTube either to be entertained or to learn so we want to write you you want to want to reach the people on YouTube who are looking to learn because that, that they're in what it's called is the learner's mindset they're specifically looking to learn something on YouTube, and that's why they're watching videos. So uh, if you just create an ad, say, have this problem, sign up for this training, it doesn't work because viewers on YouTube are looking for value in the videos, and, and people are a lot more sophisticated. You can't just uh, try to wow them with something, you know, where even if it's income claims. You know, we all know that, that, that it's possible to make... Uh, large sums of money on the internet, but it's not always probable because there are hundreds of thousands of people online who are still struggling and probably will continue to struggle. You know? But uh, if you provide enough value in your ad and to show your ideal clients that you're serious and about providing value and that you're an expert, you can actually help them. So what are the keys that can help them solve their problem? And why are those, why are these keys important? And why are they better than what else is out there? Those are the things that you have to consider. So um, what you want to do is you want to share two to five keys at a high level, the what and why, and then say, I'll dive deeper into these things in the webinar, if you have a webinar or you have some kind of training that you're wanting people to opt into. And then finally, you have your call to action. Now, the key with your call to action is keeping it stupid or keeping it simple, stupid. <laughs> Not keeping it stupid, but keep it simple, stupid. So you need to make it clear what the next step is for people to take action after your video and the value that they're going to get uh, from taking that next step. So um, what I like to do, I like to transition my ads by saying something like, now that you've seen blank, I want to invite you to sign up for my blank where I'll dive deeper and show you exactly how to blank. So that is a great call to action. And it gives people, if they've gotten value from the initial video and they want more, then you're letting them know that you're gonna dig even deeper into what you've already shared with them. And uh, so, you know, click the, rent, the link right on the screen and then you'll go to a page that looks like whatever. And uh, those are those, that is the basic setup, you know. So uh, that's pretty much all that I'm going to share with you guys today. I've been on here uh, about 13, 14 minutes, and uh, everything didn't go exactly the way that I hoped it would. <laughs> Seems like, you know, the best laid plans, uh, they work sometimes and sometimes they don't. But uh, uh if you found value in this and you think uh, someone else can appreciate it, please share the video, like, share, comment. Uh, like I said, I'm going to go, I'm going to dive into this a little bit deeper uh, on next Monday. We're going to go into uh, how you need to uh, set up your video, uh, how to set up your hooks, your, uh, your uh, training, and your call to action. Uh, also, I'm going to dive a little bit deeper into how to set up your YouTube ad because YouTube has changed. Now, with the advent of AI, one thing I want to impart upon you is that um, 
you know, a lot of people used to do keyword research. You can no longer use keyword research in a traditional way. It's still available, but there are some changes. And one of the changes is they are there. And one of the other things that they have changed is you used to could place your ad in front of popular channels and popular videos. That's been taken away. But they have changed it to where you can use your audiences. You still have your demographics and, uh, and, and your affinity, uh, other broader audiences. But the audiences are much more important. And it's also where you can train the AI to laser target the people that you were trying to reach. So... Um, Like I said, uh, this is all that I have for you today. Uh, again, if you find any value in this, please like, share, comment. Um, if you are interested in learning more about YouTube ads, I am always willing to get on a free call with you. Uh, if you're interested in booking a free call, just put free call in the comments and I will reach out to you and we'll schedule a time to talk further. Again, it is always my pleasure to bring this information to you. Because like I said, I really believe that my success is tied directly to the people that I help and serve. So we're going to try to end this the same way we started with a little music. And remember my three R's. Respect yourself, respect others, and always, always take full responsibility for your actions. All right, this is JL, the anti-guru. And we will see you next Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Later.